So hello everybody and welcome back to Josh's Magic Plays Games. Today we are playing Planet Zoo. We're on the career mode playing mission number two and we're going to try and get a silver star. So if everyone is ready we're going to hit continue and we're going to listen to what we need to do next. You see another key responsibility for our vets is animal research. Researching animals allows vets to unlock new enrichment items, additional information for our education resources, enhanced breeding programs and improvements to food quality. <laughs> oh, <laughs> the animals food, not the vets. It'll take more than a research grant to improve the staff canteen. <laughs> anyway, as you can see, research is a key part of running your zoo. In order for a vet to undertake research, they require a research center. <laughs> And once again, that's something that this zoo is missing. So let's build one. I've marked out an area for you to put it. Now, you've probably noticed that there's already a building where I want you to build the research center. Don't worry. You see, the building that's currently there is actually a hollow shell. So we're able to place our new building inside of it. If you select the research center for placement and then hover over the shell, you'll see that it asks if you want to add the research center to the existing building. Okay, click to add it to the building. Oh, but that won't place it in just yet though. First, we'll need to rotate our research center so it automatically connects to the path when we place it. Okay, right, so we need to get a research center. So facilities and we are gonna go and staff buildings and research center, which is just over here. No, this us keep us up. Trade center, research, small research center. Right, and what did they say? We needed to uh, click it to select the group and then we need to rotate it. How do we rotate? There we go. And can click it in. Right, splendid work. Now that we have a brand spanking new research center, we can give our vets something to do in there. Oh, by the way, it's worth noting that the vets will only do research when they're not required to do any other jobs. That said, you can change what jobs a vet does via their information panel. But let's not worry about that just now. So, let's get our vet researching ringtail lemurs. Go into the zoo section and select vet research. So click on zoo, vet research. Here, you can see a list of all the animals present in your zoo and also all the potential diseases that can occur. Now, drag and drop your vet onto the ring-tailed lemur to start their research. Okay. Actually, thinking about it, I'm not sure we've got any education boards or speakers by the lemur's habitat. Let's head over there and answer, so our guests can learn all about the furry little delights. Where are they? Bring tailed lemurs just over here. First off, let's pop down two education boards. Place them on the habitat barriers at a height that guests can see, or if you like, pop them down on a stand. Okay, so facilities down here. So we're going to place one on there. And we're going to place one on there. Okay, now that they've been put into position, we have to tell them what animal to display information about. Select one of the education boards to bring up its information panel. Okay. And from the drop-down list, select Ring-Tailed Lemur. Although I'm sure that last part was obvious. When you link an education board or a speaker to an animal, you need to make sure that said animal is close by. If it isn't, the guests will get confused and won't learn as much. Okay, now that we've done the education boards, let's pop down a pair of speakers. Speakers play audio to the guests so they can learn while they look at the animals, instead of having to go through the laborious process of reading. Oh, one thing to bear in mind is that it's important not to put the speakers too close together. If you do, the guests won't be able to understand what's being said. Okay, thank you for that, Nance. Right, so facilities, speakers. Uh, we'll place one over here. And one over here. Now we simply need to link the speakers to the ring-tailed lemurs. Just like you did with the education boards. Okay, 
There's that one and that Fantastic. one. Fantastic. Oh, it's worth remembering that education boards and speakers both need power to work. They won't do much good without it. Oh, it looks as though our vet has completed their research on ring-tailed lemurs. We'll need to collect the results. We can do that by clicking on the notification or by going back into the vet research area. Okay, so we do have some escaped animals, which I thought I'd better pick up. Right, so vet research. Go on, collect your research rewards. Thank you. Just so you know, vets will continue to research an animal even after successfully completing a research level. <laughs> I suppose when you're in the zone, you're in the zone. Well, now that we've enriched the lives of our guests, let's enrich the lives of our ring-tailed lemurs. Some animals, like lemurs, will have a climbing need. That means they have a requirement for a certain amount of climbing space. And you can fulfill that requirement by building them a climbing frame. Okay. Let's find out how much more climbing space our lemur friends need, shall we? Select one of them and bring up their information panel. It's down there, okay. Next, click on the Terrain tab. Ah, now, as you can see, the lemurs need quite a lot more climbing space. Yep. But as it happens, I've already got a climbing frame blueprint built for you. So you can either pop that down or build one yourself from scratch. By the way, it's not always just climbing needs that you have to worry about. Other animals might need a certain amount of water in their habitat so they can go for a swim. They certainly do keep us on our toes. All right, so we're just going to place that in just there. Oh, that's a great climbing frame for them. Thanks. They're going to absolutely love it. Do you know what would make them even happier, though? Nicer food. But that's true of all of us, though, isn't it? You can unlock better quality food for animals through research. Luckily, we've already unlocked some for the lemurs, so all that remains is to make sure they get served it from now on. Well, Let's I'm bring up the habitat in information there. panel by selecting the lemur habitat. Right, so select the habitat. Lovely. Now select the Animals tab. Okay. There we go. As you can see, we can set the food quality in here. Just click on the drop-down menu and select Grade 2 Food Quality. Grade 2 Food Quality. My mouth's already watering. Now what so, do we need to do? a new climbing frame and better food. Oh, you've really spoilt those lemurs rotten. <laughs> Now, I think it's time we looked at one of the zoo's most important responsibilities. Releasing animals into the wild. You see, when we feel an animal is ready, we can release them into the wild. But what makes an animal a good candidate for release? Well, their age is an important factor. I mean, we can't release an animal that's a juvenile, just as we can't release one that's gotten too old. They'll also need to be fertile. After all, the idea is to repopulate the wild, so the best candidates will have a high fertility gene. And together, the age and fertility of a candidate will determine how many conservation credits we'll be rewarded when we release them. Now, conservation credits are vitally important. They're the lifeblood of your zoo, because earning them allows you to adopt even more animals. And what's more, the animals you can adopt will be of a higher quality. So, with that in mind, let's pop over to our orangutan habitat. I'm already there, Nancy. Okay, I'd like you to find Agang, the Bornean orangutan in the habitat, and select him, please. You can either click through each orangutan in turn, or select the habitat barrier, go to the animals tab in the habitat information panel, and find him in the animals list. Yep, we're there. Well, where are we? You're there. Okay, so now what? We need to release. That's not nice. Are you going to play the piano? Oh, I can't release him. No, that's going to be cruel releasing him. Have you stopped? Can I wipe that from my memory? Yeah. Okay. See you later, mate. There we go. Let's release. I know it's sad to see him go, but he'll be happy out in the wild. And he's a wonderful candidate for release. Young, strong and fertile. 
Excellent work there. You've definitely got potential, you know. Ah, I see you've been doing some homework. Although, it hardly seems like work when you're learning about something as adorable as a ring-tailed lemur. I imagine I'd have got much better grades at school if there'd been less algebra and more aldebra. Tortoises. Okay, so far we've done a lot of work with habitat animals, but now it's time to learn all about exhibit animals. Let's build a brand new exhibit. I've marked an area for our new exhibit. How about we head over there? Right, okay, well, Nancy, we'll head over there in the next episode. Unfortunately, that has brought us to the end of the second episode, which is for the Silver Star on mission number two. We are going to be carrying on in the next episode that will be released straight after this one, and that is to get a gold star. Um, so don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one, guys. Goodbye!